Some thanks are due. The question is, to whom? Over the past two weeks, we have attained unprecedented clarity on an issue that's plagued us since Reagan. Thanks to the howling, hysterical, and to an astonishing degree fact-starved coverage of the children of illegal immigrants detained at the border, we now know without ambiguity exactly where the Democrats stand. That clarity will prove useful in the coming months. Because the president has actually done what prior presidents have promised to do but never have, the law is now being enforced on America's southern border. As is always the case when something that's been allowed to go on for too long is suddenly brought to an end, the impact is jarring. For years, if you got caught sneaking into the United States, the accompaniment of a child served as a pass. It was called catch and release. Suddenly that's over, but the word's not out yet. Thus the presence of several thousand children caught between their law-breaking parents and the U.S. government. Nothing about that is pretty, but it's at least clarifying. The Democrats, and by extension the media, have been forced to fully out themselves. We now know that they desire nothing less than completely open borders. We now know that they oppose any level of meaningful enforcement of long extant immigration law. We now know, given their manufactured hysteria over the children, just how cynical they really are. For this bright, shining clarity, we should be grateful. But whom do we thank? Do we thank the Democrats for finally showing us what they really believe? Or do we thank Donald Trump for forcing them to? That's my word. What's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.